right. The first thing I would like to do is recap some of the trajectories that we saw back in December for 2020, just briefly going through this because we have a lot of new people joining us this day. So first and foremost was death. That was the very first thing that presented for 2020. And of course, we have seen that. And this is also presenting the dynamic of us having to deal with our own fear of death, fear of being in the body. All of that presents under this umbrella of death. It doesn't just mean people disincarnating, which of course is happening, but it's also, you know, everything that's been happening is also pushing people up against their fears of being in the body, being on the planet, being in the middle of all this chaos, being in the, in the dismantling, which is the second thing, dismantling of old systems, dismantling of old realities, literally seeing the crumbling of old systems and the breakdown of mental, emotional, egoic, physical constructs that have kept the old realities in place. We're transforming our consciousness as well as getting rid of. It's not all about the distortion. You know, let's be clear. It's not all about the, uh, the old control systems going away. This is hitting everything, dismantling of old ways of beingness. They have been gone for a while. This is just it coming in to the physical which is part, part of these dynamics too. Third thing, 2020 vision and 2020 hindsight, being able to see clearly what is happening within your own realm, within the realms of the planet, starting to uh, be able to see the ascension timelines and the old timelines kind of dividing, a lot of, a lot of 2020 vision as well as 2020 hindsight. Oh, I thought that was true and it turns out it isn't. There's a lot of that going on this year as well, collectively as well as personally. Fourth thing, physicalization of the etheric, not only for our embodiment, physicalization of our Christ itself, our higher self, our higher levels, but also physicalization of things that have been going on in the etheric. That leads to revelation, people seeing more, lifting of the veils, everything that's been going on suddenly becomes wide spread, global. Uh, obviously, this is a global realization of and, and coming to the forefront of what's been going on in the etheric for a while. And of course, all of us as gatekeepers, grid workers, light workers, star seeds, been seeing what's been going on in the etheric, and now we have the revelation of that. So it's a physicalization of the etheric. And we return to that theme over and over again in a myriad of ways. Remember, all of this is quantum, a physicalization of what's been going on with the solar activity, physicalization of what's been going on with the magnetic shifts, physicalization of what's been happening with our own ascension. You're starting to see it. You see your skin starting to glow and sparkle and all these different things starting to become very physical so that the collective can witness it, make a choice, and then, of course, they, you receive whatever it is you focus on, right? Okay, fifth, dramatic shifts in collective thought. A lot of people confused about what they used to believe in, what they thought was the truth, now it's not so true. A lot of sorting out of realities and timelines and choices. But it's, it's, there's a lot of dramatic shifts in the collective consciousness that have happened so far. First half, pretty intense. And the second half, gets more intense when it comes to choice points, when it comes to revelation, you know, all of us kind of dealing with that as it comes up and we'll have some unfoldments of these, these last five. All right. So magnetic shifts. This is the thing that's happening now. Dramatic shifts in not just the magnetosphere, which is greatly diminished, but it's actually changing the toroidal fields and changing the timelines as we go through this. You're going to see more earth changes, things like that, uh, as we get into this. And I have a whole section on the magnetic shift, so we'll get to that. Point seven, <laughs> zero point is amplified as we hit this portal that we're going through right now. This is something that's happening over this summer, July, August. This is what, what's happening right now, is this zero point dynamics. They're always amplified in August, but of course we have an organic star stargate system in play now that was activated back in January. So everything 
gets really amplified and really accelerated. Um, and, and I have a section on that. Uh, number eight, everything coming to a full stop. Obviously, things have been coming to a stop when it comes to regular routine that was predicted and immediately evident, evident the minute we hit 2020. Lockdowns, shutdowns, everything. We still have not reached the full stop point yet. And all last year, if you've listened to the webinars prior to this, all last year, it was all about there's going to be a full stop. Everything's going to come to a full stop. Don't apply it just to the external reality. Now, we really have to turn on our quantum thinking with all of this and realize that it doesn't, it's not one thing that's going to get the zero point full stop. It's everything. And you get to experience it to the, the highest level that your higher self, your higher levels will allow. So the more you embody and connect that conduit, the more of the dramatic full stop you get. But we are in for it, brothers and sisters. When it comes to uh, the energies that are coming in, uh, especially December, January, that full stop thing is in our field right now. It's not one event. It's a series of things that are happening right now. Uh, and I'll get to into 0 0.2 and the full stop in the presentation. Ninth thing was revelation of the new earth realms. Gaia gave us that message directly and the experience of it. A lot of you have been weeping because you put your hands on the ground and Gaia's like, I am going to reveal everything this year during this passage. And that includes not just revelation of distortion, it's revelation of new earth that is our purpose that's the whole reason why we're here it's a very exciting time so revelation of the new earth realms has started really kicking in especially if you were uh involved in the activations and the frequencies that came in just in the last month wow july starting uh, a lot of people starting to have experiences with the rainbow plasma crystalline realms and the the beingness there i'll get i'll explain that uh, in this presentation, but the beingness is really starting to step forward, interact with us, merge with us. And a lot of, a lot more people are starting to see that plasma rainbow crystalline realm. It's quite strong. So it's revelation of the new earth. You're going to start seeing the overlay. You're going to start crossing that crystalline bridge till that kind of overwhelms your consciousness. And then you have a full, beautiful sense of, wow, it's right there. It's right there. Just out of phase. It's so beautiful. And that happened back in 2011. So it's just, you know, it takes some time. Humanity takes some time. So that's this, that was point number nine. Okay. Point number 10. Solar flashing crystalline activations as a collective. A lot of you started having these solar flashing experiences last year. Last December, they started, around solstice time. It's the experience of the solar flash. It will overwhelm your consciousness. I've described it before. It's quite beautiful. But this is, of course, if you're a pure conduit, you're going to start experiencing things to anchor it into the collective consciousness. It's only one of us here. Anchoring it into the collective consciousness so that it's not, it doesn't... Uh, blow apart the collective consciousness later on. So we start having those solar flashing ac ac activations. It starts anchoring into the collective DNA. It starts rewriting the consciousness. And then more and more star seeds start popping off, having that experience. So that collectively, when that stuff starts happening collectively as a physicalization of what's already happening in that realm on that timeline, it's not a surprise. You know, we've already got the balance, the balancing, the stability of those activations already happening. So that's happening in our collective, our Ascension Path Collective, starting to, uh, starting to anchor in. We're going to get more and more of those, especially as we go through this gateway in August. All right. So that solar flashing activity that's been going on for years, starts to be experienced, then it starts to be experienced as a collective this year, right? And if you know me and you know my work, that has nothing to do with a prediction of one big solar flash 
ending one reality and starting another. I do not prescribe to that and don't ever say that I predict that. That's not what I'm talking about. All right. Thank you. Everybody take a breath. <sighs> Lovely. Okay. Let's talk about magnetic shifts. Uh, the magnetic shifts are causing deep fatigue as well as re revelation. And I want to explain a little bit how. Okay. So, because a lot of you are experiencing deep fatigue and exhaustion, you can't move, you got to take a nap every day. It is what it is. Let's just walk, walk everybody through it. Okay, first, timelines are based on collective personal and, co personal and collective Taurus fields. Everything's based on Taurus fields when you get into creating these realms that we exist in right now that we're experiencing. These Taurus fields hold a bandwidth of frequency, which provides a certain experience. So when you're talking about timelines, timelines are all based on Taurus fields. Bandwidth of frequency, reality, containers for a certain experience. Taurus fields hold vibrational realities in place. When your DNA starts rebundling, literally, starts to wind, into a Taurus field and holds the proper Taurus shape, you reflect that universal model that's around multiverse, universe, galaxy, solar systems, planetary consciousness, people. It's all wheels within wheels, right? Taurus fields within Taurus fields. So when you start turning on your DNA to rebundle into those sacred Taurus fields, you turn on the antenna and you could start aligning with, experiencing other vibrational realities where layers of your DNA are vibrating at a much higher rate and experiencing other realms that are also enclosed within certain Taurus fields. So if you're confused about that, this is just a recap from Crystalline DNA Mastery. Get, get into that class if you want to learn about it. Okay. Our collective experience of time is based on emotional imprints. So DNA creates the experience of time by emotional imprinting in the DNA itself. DNA is a record of everything you've ever been, are, and will be. That's how expansive this living library DNA is. So when you're imprinting emotional fields, it gives you an experience of linear time. This happened, then that happened, then that happened. Through the ascension process, we start eliminating all of the attachment to memory, to emotion. You start doing the emotional clearing and you get less time. You get less of a linear experience because the higher realms don't operate in that way. So emotions are magnetic and thoughts are electric. And your heart center, of course, as the biggest magnetic center that you have, start vibrating with these other Taurus fields and magnetically connecting to them, you start getting a different experience. But in these realms, as the magnetics and the Taurus fields for Gaia change, starts changing the grids, literally starts changing the grid systems to the more crystalline based, and you're letting go, you'll feel the timelines and the old stuff dropping away that's why emotional clearing and neutrality and healing is so important. It's such an important component of our process so that we can release the attachment to the lower timelines. These plasma influxes coming from the sun and our own crystalline structures literally shake, vibrate the old structures out of, out of, out of existence. That's why everyone's so focused on raising your vibration because it changes the vibrational field of the planet. And now we have very strong magnetic shifts happening within the sun, Solaris itself. And those influxes are changing the whole solar system, including beloved Gaia. She's starting to change. Now it's because your heart center is magnetic, because there's magnetics attached to the whole toroid model, you're starting to get very fatigued because it's affecting your DNA itself. Your DNA is telling your body to express in a different way. 
it's telling, and especially if you're doing your commands and your decrees and your embodiment, it's telling your body to do something that it hasn't done before. Bodies never walked through this process in this way before. Um, the magnetic fields shift, break apart, causing polarity shifts and revelation of higher realities. So it's all based on this elect electromagnetic thing that's going on. Your body becomes more electric, your heart becomes more magnetic, you start experiencing this, but we're also changing the planet and the planet is getting hit by this stuff that's coming through the sun right now. So zero point is reintroduced into these realms through the organic cosmic stargates and the changes in the sun. And you're going to note the increased solar activity. The sun woke up as predicted back in May. It was like the sun's going to wake up. All of a sudden you got flares and, and sunspots again. All right, that was, that's predicted. And this, again, starts to accelerate. August, always a busy time for the stargates. So notice and use the increased availability of solar flashing, activity, activations, and these plasma influxes. So Gaia herself is becoming more solar. Remember, her trajectory is to turn into a more solar-like entity. You know, she's got to be a little central sun herself. So she's reflecting the magnetic shifts that are happening in order for her to become more of a Christed solar type being as well as us. We are also becoming that, the generator of light, a star, a stellar type model, generator of pure light. And this decreased magnetosphere that we have right now has left our, our gateways wide open, decreased magnetosphere. And this is the first time we're dealing with an organic Stargate system fully operational, and it's going to do a lot of things. So this is new in 2020. We are reconnected to these universal organic Stargates. They're a crystalline plasma-based system that is organic. And I want to emphasize that because we're dealing with the division of organic and inorganic realities in this now. Now, this is the basis, this crystalline plasma is the basis for rainbow light body and the golden DNA codes. So gold, those of you who wear gold or keep gold in your field, the aspect of gold, why gold has been used all this time and why it's actually a component of the divine human DNA and going to the solar cosmic Christ that has the aspect of the diamond solar, which is gold, diamond golden uh, combination is because gold can actually hold a percentage of the speed of light within its structure. So that allows you, when you bring more of that into your field, it allows you to not just vibrate faster, but to actually traverse stargates. So that's why you'll see a lot of gatekeepers wearing, wearing as much gold as you can afford most of the time. <laughs> you know, just pull it into your field. But and when you work with it, it allows you to speed up. It allows you to spin those torus fields faster and have different experiences in, in, interact with these organic stargate systems. That's why we've always involved gold, why we planted gold out in Mono Lake, you know, all that stuff. All that stuff that's going on is because it actually carries a component within the molecular subatomic structure that allows it to, to go faster than the speed of light. So it's, it's just, it's like a hacking mechanism. Um, which is why it's a component of our DNA. I hope that makes sense. So this affects your DNA via your torus fields. This is evolution in action, telling the body and the consciousness, specifically consciousness, to do something new. And then because this is physicalization of the etheric, you start having the physical experience of these crystalline plasma realms. So the dismantling because it's also an electromagnetic operation that's going on. That's why you feel so fatigued. Uh, it leads to exhaustion because that is the change in your magnetics. Your whole body is like, oh my goddess, I, I have to do this now. You're telling me to do this now. Body's fully capable of that if you support it through the process. 
but the dismantling is also the breaking apart of old systems in the body. So when you're carrying stuff in the subconscious, remember the DNA pays attention to the subconscious until you give it something new, until you shift it, until you wake up and tell it, mm -mm, no more of that. Now we're going over here. And you rewire the whole nervous system, the whole light body to do, to complement what the body can do. Okay. So the heart center is strongly magnetic. So this is amplified for open hearts, dear ones. If you've been like so fatigued and everything, it's probably because you have an open heart that has the magnetic going on. You got your heart in the right place. There's a consistent, consistent, this is why you kind of feel like yo-yo, consistent expansion and contraction as the magnetic fields of Gaia and the grid systems go through these shifts. And you'll notice some grid points getting a little, you know, quake activity, magnetic anomalies coming in and everything, um, overriding a, a lot of activity and stories and everything like that. Everything is so new right now. So just, you know, you've got to flow with it. I've got advice for you about flowing with this. So we're hitting on a cosmic level, whole galaxy, whole solar system, finally hit this supercharged area that's really doing a number on the old realities. Because if you're familiar with photonic order, you know, photonic light, pure light. We're talking about purely light, in source encoded light. I know photons are light, everybody knows that, right? We're talking about pure photonic order as a code from source itself going rewrite everything get in alignment we've had enough exploration of distortion this is the whole universal rewrite that we're going through now and you get into stronger and stronger bandwidths of this and now we're going into this very strong bandwidth it's like a fluid flow almost looks like a stargate itself this fluid flow of highly charged higher charged particles that are encoded for our next step of evolution. And of course, we continually go through these bandwidths, but wow, we're really hitting a strong one. And it was predicted, yeah, 2020. Here we go. Clarity, right? So because this band gets, uh, we hit a, a certain gateway, a certain area of that, that's going to get really strong in December. That's why I'm having a webinar now. I know we couldn't wait until September for the quarterly thing again, because uh, August is kind of throwing us into the vibrational bandwidth of this. So if you thought the first half was exciting, woo, here we go, second half. Coming into this, all of us, this message is consistent. All of us have to be very diligent about our cleansing, our balancing, our detoxing, and our divine neutrality. Remembering that our divine presence is to love, not to judge. Because there is so much triggering going on with people sorting out what is their truth, what is the higher truth, the whole 2020 hindsight as well as clarity thing that's going on right now and all the fears of death and the fears of this and the timeline sorting out. There's a, there's a very unique thing going on right now that involves the creator state of beingness, which is the next section of this webinar. But for right now, full support for the exhaustion because a lot of people and a lot of star seeds getting uh, concerned, like if it's going to be this hard, I might as well just check out. Let's just realign with our heart and the purpose of us being here, beloveds. If you feel like you were assigned to this planet for a good reason, um, you know it. It was it was easier up until now, and this is this is not some oh let's pull out our swords and go get them kind of uh, light warrior operation right now. I don't feel that at all. I feel that our task is to fully embody the divine state of beingness. And once you get that to be physicalized, all the other conversations will go away. It will be clear that I feel that is our highest purpose. I always ask, what's after all this 
conspiracy, revelation, blah, old stories, blah, blah, yeah, it all comes to light, whatever. What's the thing after that? The ascension, the ascension. And yes, it's challenging, of course. So it's always been challenging. Imagine, you know, waking up 40 years ago when nobody was awake. Now you're surrounded by everybody trying to sort out what's true and what's not true and, you know, different programs and control systems getting busted apart and revealed and everything. Just let it be and keep your heart focused on the higher thing. Because as we all know, you get what you focus on.